From the moment you open your eyes, you gotta set the tone for the day. And the first question you need to ask yourself is, what am I gonna do to get better today? You see the great Lao Tzu said, mastering others is strength, but mastering yourself is true power. Now understand this, what you do consistently, you will eventually become. Therefore, your first objective on the road to success is to master and conquer yourself. One by one, you must overcome the daily temptations to stand in the way of your dreams. Now I want you to understand, you have greatness in you. God put it there. But the only way you'll ever be able to access it is by going through the gates of self-discipline. You can't outsource self-discipline, self-control, self-mastery. You got to stop blaming everybody else for your own shortcomings. If you want to make progress, you must address what I'm telling you right now. Now, discipline starts in the mind. It's rooted in your why and ultimately determines whether your dream lives or dies. Now, let's go to the word. He that haveth no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. You see, the less discipline you have, the more vulnerable you are. And what you don't master will eventually master you. Most people spend all their time and focus on the external aspects of success and never address the internal mechanics that actually produce it. Your grind, your work ethic, that's your plane ticket up out of here. That's your only way out of mediocrity. Greatness can only be purchased with the currency of hard work. Now let's go back to my last message. Stop leasing success and own it. And what I mean by that, see on Monday, a lot of you out there, you're doing everything it takes. You're hitting it hard. You're going all in, 100, 120. On Tuesday, you're doing the same thing. You're going all in. You're doing whatever it takes. And then Wednesday comes, and your discipline breaks down. And you give it all back. All the gains you made on Monday and Tuesday, you get back on Wednesday. Now, Monday and Tuesday, you was driving a Bugatti. The only problem with that is it was a rental car. And on Wednesday, you returned that thing. So what I'm trying to get across to you is success requires discipline 24-7, 365. It means going 120 all out every day, no excuses. It's that simple. You got two choices you can make. Embrace discipline or accept defeat. Simple as that. Now, many of you walking around out there like you got all the time in the world. But here's the truth. You don't get a second chance at this. You don't get a second chance, I'm telling you. It's up to you. Success avoids the undisciplined like the plague. So it's time for you to arise, great warrior, and go be the person God made you to be. Now, all of you out there with just average talent, self-discipline is the great equalizer. Hard work, discipline, that's the membership fee that filters out the weak from the strong, the losers from the champions, the average nobodies from the legends. Which one you want to be? The skill set only works if you have that mindset. Don't let anybody tell you that it cannot be learned and it cannot be taught. It can be, and Relentless teaches you how. I'm begging you, so that you'll be successful, stop thinking about winning a championship ring and start demanding of yourself that you become capable of a championship performance. And once you understand the difference, I have absolutely no interest. It is anathema to me, the thought of winning a ring while sitting on the bench. I would much rather lose 
take the game-winning shot and miss and humiliate myself than win a ring for something that I didn't do. When you think about why you're not getting where you want to go, why you aren't doing the things you want to do, why you aren't making the money that you make, I promise you a big part of that is because you're not doing the personal development homework. If you're doing that, you're making a commitment to that, you're doing it every fucking day, you will get better. And when you get better, you get paid more. When you get paid more, you're encouraged to do more of what got you paid more. So start the cycle, push the fucking ball down the hill and let it get rolling. Read your 10 fucking pages, guys. Do what you gotta do, because here's the deal. If you don't do it, somebody else is gonna fucking do it, and they're gonna be the person that you're working for. Uh, screamed to me the other night, hey, Will, I wanna be an actor, man. I wanna be an actor just like you. You know, usually people say stuff to me like that. I'm like, yeah, man, you know, you do it. Just give them an encouraging word. But I was just sitting in here thinking, and it dawned on me, 99% of people that say stuff like that are not willing to do what it takes to make their dreams come true. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And that's just real. At the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. You know, some, something as simple as food and eating, it, it's not about your, your body as much as it is about your mind. It's getting command of your mind to be able to choose actions that are in your own best interest. Every day, we are choosing shit that's not in our own best interest. Right, so if the world is attacking you and the world wants to fight you and the world's trying to hold you down, so you're gonna kick yourself in the balls? So you're gonna stop yourself from getting what you dream. Self-discipline is the center of all material success. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. Taking responsibility, accepting responsibility is not an admission of guilt. Right? You're, not, you're not admitting that you're at fault. Taking responsibility is a recognition of the power that you seize when you stop blaming people. It, it's not like you're letting somebody who wronged you off the hook. Like taking responsibility is an act of emotional self-defense. Taking responsibility is taking your power back. I believe that self-discipline is the definition of self-love. That when you say that you love yourself, that means that you have behavior towards yourself that is loving. It's like you say to yourself, hey man, look, I know you want to eat that pizza and it'll be really good, you know, but I can't let you eat that, man, because if, if you eat that pizza, you're going to feel like shit, you know, and I, I just, I love you too much to let you eat that. And I think the word discipline has kind of gotten a, a bad name. We think about it in terms of punishment. I'm not, I'm not talking about discipline in that way. I'm talking about discipline in the sense that you, you forego immediate pleasure for the exchange of long-term self-respect. Self-love is when you say to yourself, oh, man, look, I know you and that girl got a real connection. Um, I know y'all vibe, but that's your girl's cousin. So I love you too much to let you do that. Self-love is, hey, look, I know you got a, a, a test on Monday, you know, and I know you really want to go out with your friends and Saturday night you want to go out, but if you fail that test, you're not going to feel good about yourself. You know, I just, I love you too much to let you go out tonight. Self-discipline is self-love. If you want to be happy, you have to love yourself, which means you have to discipline your behavior. The road to sustained happiness is through disciplining your behavior.